Okay, first and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory and love it to my Lord and Saviour, whose name is Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Waharakar Kwadash, and double honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, okay, that teach us truth well and that continue to teach us truth well. And to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning across the globe. Okay? And I want to say Yahweh, I want to say Tawadi Yahweh by Shem Yahweh for giving me the courage and the spirit to get out here because it's a hell of a demonic day out here, man. A hell of a demonic day. Just, just even getting here, it was a whole load of demons you had, I had to deal with. That's why it takes courage and it takes the Holy Spirit to come out here and to come up against all these demons out here that want to celebrate football. Okay, a football match. But before we go into all that, I want to start off on Luke 14 and 10. Okay, concerning the latest issues. I'm not going to go too much into it because I already done a lesson on it yesterday. So we're just going to do a bit. Then we're going to flow with the Spirit. Okay. So let's go into Luke 14. And we're going to go straight to verse 7. And he put forth a parable to those which were bidden. When he marked, when he marked how they chose that chief rooms, saying unto them, okay, so you had those that, you know, they were all about status, the chief rooms, picking out these chief rooms so they could be seen of men, okay? And Yahabashai saw this, okay? them selecting the chief rooms saying unto them when that are bidden of any man okay to the wedding okay so when you're invited when you're bidden to any type of wedding sit not down in the highest room lest a more honourable man then thou be bidden of him lest you get bidden Another man comes in and you're told to what? Move out of that seat. Okay? And that's what? That's going to be a shame. Aren't you? That's why this truth is all, it's all about humility. For a lot of individuals don't understand. Truth is all about humility. Not putting yourself out there to be someone. Because when you do that, guess what? You're setting yourself up what to fail. Okay? That's what you're doing. Okay? Why you want the high seat for? Hmm? It's ain't about the high seat. Bear me just a minute. Yeah, no, this ain't about no flipping high seat. Okay? It's about taking the low seat. Okay? And saying unto Rem, we're not a bidding of any man to any wedding, sit not down at the highest room. You don't sit at the highest room. The same of a table, you don't sit at the highest table. Okay? Sit not at the highest room. Okay? There's some more honourable man and that will be bidden of him. There's some more honourable man comes and you're told to get out, move, move yourself. Okay? And he that bade thee, and him come and say to thee, give this man place, and thou begin with shame to take the lowest room. That's why you don't, you're not supposed to take the high seat. You take that high seat, what? You're going to be told to move out of that seat and go into the less seat. Okay? That's why it's best to take the low seat. So a man could say, go to the high seat. I think he goes into that. But when I've been going, sit down in the lowest room, the lowest seat, the lowest table, okay? And when he bade thee cometh, he may say unto thee, which means bade invite, okay? Friend, go up higher, okay? Then thou shall have worship in the presence 
of them that sit at the meet with thee. Why? Because it wasn't forced. He wasn't forcing it. He wasn't forcing a position. Okay? Now you gotta let things come naturally. You okay? For whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased. Now if you exert yourself in this world, eventually you're just gonna be abased, you're gonna be put down. That's what this what this world, what this world exhibits is, is pride. Everybody being pride and puffed up like now. It's just a football match. And you got people being puffed up and proud, not knowing what's about to happen up on this earth. If, if, if only they knew. If only they knew, maybe just a minute. If only if these people knew what was about to happen, you'd have thousands of people queuing up, listening. But because they're in that state of stupor, they're not going to listen. They don't get destroyed with their missiles or any type of destruction. That's why we're out here to warn our people, you so called Negroes, Hispanics and Indianos, you better wake up. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. How long are you going to be in that stupid state? So whosoever exhort himself, you want to exhort yourself, shall be abased. You're going to be brought down. Okay? But he that humbleth himself, so if you humbleth yourself on this side, guess what's there for you? A crown. Okay? Everlasting life. It's about humbling yourself, no man. Okay? Branson also, there we go, that's it on that. We're going to go to the main topic. Because right now, like I said, we've got a lot of things going on. We've got a lot going on. Okay. A lot of things going on. And one of them is what? The football match. Which that's, all that is just, Bread and circus. How is that pertaining to your salvation? How is a football match pertaining to your salvation? That's why the scripture says, My people are foolish. They have not known me. Heaven is these important matters that's going on in, across this world. And that's the only thing you can uh, think about. Football's coming home. Man, that's why when that destruction comes, these people, they're going to have no cloak for their sin. Okay? Because we told them, we warned them. And you've got a simple ass, you've got a simple ass Jake on the bus, wearing a big ass, uh, a big ass England cap on his head, and an England mask and an umbrella. Simple. Okay? Our people are simple. But guess what makes you wise? It's this truth. Let's quickly go to Proverbs. It's the truth that makes you wise. But our people are going to continue being simple. Watching a damn football match. That ain't going to grant you no salvation. Fools! Let's go to Proverbs 1. Okay? Proverbs 1. And... Bear me just a minute. Too, to know wisdom and instruction. So the, the, these words, they instruct us on how to live on earth. The Lord instructs us for how to live on earth. That's what this word does. Okay? To perceive the words of understanding. So, gaining wisdom and knowledge is the idea to what? To perceive words of understanding. This is what this truth does to you. and to receive instruction of wisdom, justice, judgment, and equity, which what? That's what judges deal with. Judgment and equity. Okay. That's what they deal with. To give subtlety to the simple and to the young man, 
knowledge and discretion. That's what this gives you. Knowledge and discretion. Teach you how to be discreet. Okay? Talks you how to, to walk more discreetly, more uprightly. Okay? Because the people out here, they're not walking discreetly. They're not walking with knowledge. They're not instructed well. They're instructed in the ways of folly. They're instructed by Esau. That's what they're instructed in. They're instructed in the ways of wickedness. A wise man will hear and will increase. So if you're wise, you're going to hear and you're, you're going to increase what learning. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. And what's the counsel? This word. This word is the ultimate counsel. So if you're not attaining unto this wise counsel, what does that mean? You're a fool, you're simple. That's what it means. Okay? And guess what? I hope England lose today. I hope Italy beat England. Because they're a shit team. They have no flavour. And the only reason England are good is because of what? The so-called Negroes. England would be nothing without what? You so-called Negroes. England are a shit team. How about that? Some damn football. People better wake up in a state of stupor. And a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. And the wise counsels is the scriptures. Not the things of this world. That's wise counsel. You're not going to get wise counsel from Esau. You're going to get nothing but folly. And to understand the proverb and the interpretation of the words and the wise of dark saying. So we're done with that. Bear me just a minute. But this is Proverbs 15 and 14. The heart of him that have understanding, that means the mind, that heart goes into love. That have understanding. Seeketh knowledge. So if you're a man of understanding that seeketh understanding, Guess what? You're going to have knowledge. Okay? And you're going to be seeking knowledge. But the mouth of fools feedeth on foolishness. And what are people are feed, feeding on today? Football. You know? Kicking a football about. Okay? And that history already goes deep. That history of football also goes to when they chopped off the Native Americans' heads and they were kicking it around. So there's a history behind everything, everything. I bet you didn't know that. So the heart of fools feeds on foolishness. Football is not going, look, watching football, it's all bread and circuses. That's not what's going to bring you salvation, watching some football. People, people kick around the ball. That ain't going to bring you salvation. That's just going to put you in a more stupid state. Guess what? When, when the football's done, then what are you going to go back to? Your folly. So this is what Esau has set up this system for you to just, just to be blinded. For you not to pay attention. For you, for you not to have any um, critical thinking. This is how the society's set up. So people can be base, low level, not thinking. Not having any rational thought. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Bear yeah, me just a minute. Scriptures to 
there's a time, there's a time and a place. There's a time and a place for everything. Yeah, there's a time to mirth, there's a time to eat, there's a time to laugh. Right now, we're not in a time of laughing. What? See, the men of love know because what we're measuring, them times. We know what time it is. Bear me just, let's go to that, bear me just a minute. The people out here, they don't know what time it is. I'm not, I'm not gonna read, you know what, let's read all of it. This is Ecclesiastes 3. Okay. To everything there is a season and time to every purpose. So there's a purpose for everything. A time and a purpose. It's just that you've got to know the time and the purpose. That's all. Okay? Under heaven, which is earth. A time to be born. A time to die. A time to plant. A time to pluck out, which is planting. So it says, a time to be born. A time to die. Because every, every, second, every second is someone dying. Every second is someone being born. Okay? A time to plant. And what are we planting with? We're planting with this fruit. We're supposed to be planting with this wisdom. And we're supposed to be planting, because Yahweh Shai said in Matthew something, every, every tree that is not planted shall be what? Plucked out. So if you're not planted in Yahweh Shai, eventually you're going to be plucked out. So you can't fake this truth. That's another topic. Men think they can come to, men think they can come to camp <laughs> and fake the truth. You understand? Fake it. That's what this world promotes. Fake it till you make it. Okay? Anyways. A time to plant, a time to pluck up that which is planted. And that's why I'm out here. I'm out here to pluck up all the lies. To pluck up all that deceit. To pluck up all that deception. That's what we're here to do. To pluck up all the lies. What you've been taught. time to kill so there's also a time to kill okay I'm not going to do that you have a shot right now we're fishing but you have a shot going to make us what instruments of war okay a time for everything a time to heal and right now yeah what in it also we're in the time of healing and what are we healing with? We're, we're, we're healing with this word. This is what this word has the power to do, to heal you. But guess what? The wicked of our people, they don't want to be healed. They don't want to be healed. They want to stay in a, they want to stay in a state of sickness. Okay? They want to remain in that state. Okay? time to break down and what we're breaking down and in this truth you have you have to be broken down a lot of men they want to come to the truth but they don't want to be broken down so how can you be how can you be built up if you're not broken down okay how can you be built up if you're not broken down and a time to build and right now we're building with the truth. Okay? That's what we're building with, this truth. A time to weep and a time to laugh. So right now, are we in a time of laughing? No, we're not. We're in a, we're in a time of weeping. Because we understand what time we're in. Okay? Because you've even got men that come to camp, everything's a laugh. It's like this, it's the same a joke. But that, that show, that, that's indicative of what spirit you're in. That's indicative of what spirit you're in. 
that means you're in the spirit of folly. That means you don't get the services. So eventually the Lord's going to destroy you. And whoever this applies to, it applies to. You've got men that can correct you, but they can't correct themselves. A time to mourn and a time to dance. So again, we're in, more so in the time of mourning. Not in the time of dancing, but today you're going to have these people, what? Dancing, acting like a fool. Okay? We're not in that time. A time to cast away stones. cast away stones and a time to gather stones together a time to embrace okay and a time to refrain from embracing okay so right now we're embracing you with this word but soon we're going to refrain from that embracing and that's when we're not on the highways and that's when we're not on the highways and byways that's when we're going to refrain Okay. Let's go to Amos 8 and 11. I'm telling you, these people, they're gonna, when all hell breaks loose, you're, you're gonna, gonna realise there was a prophet amongst you. You're gonna realise, okay, all oh, that individual that was standing out on the street corners, that individual that you thought was mad, now you're gonna realise everything he was saying was true. And your life, it's going to flash right before your eyes because we were telling you what was to happen and you didn't want to take heed. That's why we're out here. Okay? Let's go to Amos 8 and 11. This ain't no joke. See, but it's a joke to the world. But we, the hopeful elect, the sincere Akiam, we know this is not a joke. That's why we're, we're out here. So we know the terror of the Lord were persuaded by the terror of Yahweh Shai. Most of our people, they ain't persuaded by the terror of Yahweh Shai. Even men in this truth, this is just something to do. No, this shouldn't be, this, this ain't just something to do. You've got to know why you're doing something. Let's go to Amos. Go to Amos 8. And 11. Amos 8 and 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, you have a shame. The power, but I will send the famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but a hearing of the words of the Lord. It's going to be a famine of this word. It's going to be a famine of this word. Okay, you can shake your head. There's going to be a famine. There's going to be a famine of the word of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. That's why we're out here teaching this word. So it would behoove you to take heed. That's why the scripture says, My people are rebellious because you don't listen. We're planting with this truth. Planting we're planting with the truth. Okay. Okay, I hear you. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. I, to plant, I'm Did you hear? I hear you. I hear you. Okay. Oh. Okay. Keep on praying. And all the mighty is repentance. And we give us and it's better. Yeah. And at the head of it, our masters will not be ripping, you know, that will not be lost. Not be covered. It will not be lit. 
He is guiding us. He's guiding us through this word. Okay? You're Nigerian. So called Nigerian. You're an Israelite. Yeah, alright, 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 alright. Okay, okay. You know, a few a few words. She was she was she was there, she was she was halfway there, but she wasn't all the way there. Which is true and that's the spirit because what was I just saying? We were gonna be planting with this word. So she just she just you see how the spirit works? Planted and branches. Then branches are what? The truth. Okay. The branches are what? That fruit. Okay. So you know what? It's spiritual things happen when you're out here. Real spiritual things happen. Okay. Anyway, let's continue. You know, but you gotta you gotta rebuke our people because they got heavy, heavy. So where was he? He was an Amos. What's it? Eight and eleven. There's gonna be a famine of the hearing of the words of the Lord. Okay. And you women as well, strutting about. Okay, you better take heed to this as well. Okay? So there'll be going to, there's going to become a time when you can't go to the nurse, what's it? What, the nail salon? The hair salon? Okay, and you're going to be looking for a man of the Lord to protect you. You're going to be looking for guidance. Okay? from sea to sea so that means from land to land okay looking for them answers okay like that white air song okay which is a hit searching searching people are going to be searching for the truth okay but the truth is right here but the people guess what they're going to do they're going to find their hand Okay, because they're more are concerned with what? Bread and circuses. Okay. They shall they shall wander from what? Sea to sea. From the north even to the east. Okay, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of your heart by shut down the side. So if they're running to and fro. That's because they're in a state of confusion. Okay? People are going to be in a state of confusion. Not knowing what to do next. Not having the answers. Okay? But we have the answers, and we're not saying that to be braggadocious. The answers are right here. But if you could just take out a minute of your day just to listen, then guess what? You'd be fed. But the people just go walk past, rushing where they need to get to, okay? And being condemned by the word. Okay? From the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Jehovah Shem Yahweh and shall not find it. So we're coming into that time and people are going to be looking for answers and they're not going to find it. Scripture says to and fro. Okay? To and fro. Everywhere. Okay? And you've got a bunch of carpet munchers across the what road. Okay? A bunch of LGBT flamers. Okay? When the scriptures say, if two women lie down together, that is an abomination. Okay? And really, you don't even need the scriptures to tell you that. That's common sense. But if you're a fool, you're not going to understand that. 
because how can you produce dummies? But guess what? Because this society promotes that, two women can hold hands, okay? And nobody, if you say anything against it, guess what? You get blackballed or you get thrown in prison. You see how wicked this place is? But all that in our kingdom, you ain't gonna have that in our kingdom. That's gonna be put out. That wickedness is gonna be put out. There's gonna be judgments for that. Holding hands. That's a mental, you do know that's a, that's a mental illness. Two women, two men lying down together. That's a mental illness. You're sick in your head. You're plagued. You've got demons on you. Something so simple. And they shall run for, to, to and fro to seek the word of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay. And guess what? You're not going to find it. Why? Because when you had the chance, you were murmuring, talking shit, scoffing, and the scoffers are increasing. The scriptures tell you that. And the last days there shall be what? Scoffers walking after their own lusts, saying, where is the promise of his coming? Because since the fathers fell asleep, all things continued as they were from the beginning. Okay? So the people, they don't really believe. So if you don't believe, you're gonna, you're gonna turn into a scoffer. If you really don't believe in this truth, the mindset you're gonna have is the mindset of a scoffer. Okay? Only the elect, the elect are gonna be protected. Because now I wanna give you, um, now I wanna give you spiritual insight. I wanna give you spiritual insight because you have men, a man could, you can come to camp, you could teach this word, but you could be there, you could be present at camp, but not present. Do you understand what I'm saying? What do I mean by that? That means you could, you can come to camp, but guess what? You're not in the spirit. You're not in the spirit. You're not in the spirit of Yahweh Shai. So you can come to camp, but you're just not in the Holy Spirit. You're in the spirit of Satan. That's what spirit you're in. Okay. Because if you're in that spirit, what are you going to be doing? You're going to be talking about... Nothing's wrong with bringing out information because as watchmen, we bring that out. We bring out information. But it's all your videos and just... Oh, BBC News. What? Esau's already doing that. All you're doing is helping him. So when you're bringing out information, you want to throw out that information. Let's really go to Isaiah, I think it's 62. Okay. Let's go to Isaiah 62. Because yeah, we're watchmen, but watchmen, they're filtering out scriptures. They're filtering it out. They're not just going to be saying, um, reading whole paragraphs, you're, you're reading more of an article than you read the scriptures. That's easy. Okay. No, you're not really a watchman. See, there's a difference, man. All, all they do. So what? Are you. So what are you? Are you? Are you? Are you? Um. Obviously, what? What newscasters? But what prophets? I mean, no prophets are newscasters. But if you're bringing out less lessons and your lessons are just, oh, a boy was mowed down. A boy killed his father yesterday. A person was um done this, done that. Bro, that's not really, you're not really being a prophet. You're just regurgitating what Esau's already put out there. There's a difference. Okay? That's why the spirit has to be dealing with you. Esau can do that all day. Okay? Isaiah 62. I have set out watchmen upon thy walls. Okay? And we are them spiritual watchmen. So we're watching for the prophecies and we're filtering it through the prophecies. So when you're filtering, it's 
So when you're thought of and certain through the prophecies, you're going to let the prophecies speak. You're not going to let Esau speak for you. You, you. you might as well be working for the government if you're going to if you're going to teach that way. Come on, that's a weak spirit. That's a weak spirit. I'm not with that. Nothing's wrong with bringing out articles, but are, are you in the spirit? Because if you're not, you're going to be in the spirit of worrying about what's to come. But if you're a man, bear me just a minute. I've set watchmen upon our walls of Jerusalem which shall never hold their peace. So we're not to hold our peace. And a true watchman is going to be in this day in, day out. So guess what? You could be teaching this word, but you're holding your peace. You're not really a watchman. There's many, there's many avenues to this truth. Okay? In terms of how you bring it out, how you bring the word out. Okay? And make mention of the Lord, keep not thy silence or hold their peace day nor night. So the true prophets, they're not going to be holding their peace day nor night. He that make mention of the Lord, Yahabai Shimi Abishai, keep not silent. In other words, don't be quiet. Okay? Don't close your mouth because even demonic men in this truth, they want you to be quiet. They'll be happy if you just if you just drop dead. But guess what? The more you come against the man of the Lord, the more you motivate us. The more the jealousy, the more the jealousy, the more envy you have, the more you inspire us to teach us words. That's what you gotta understand. That's what you have to understand. Okay? You just inspire us to go even harder for the truth. You understand? And give him no rest to be established until we make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. So this is what we're supposed to do. And to what he established us, that means sets us up on high in the kingdom. Okay? Give him no rest. Morning, noon, evening, night time. Give him no rest. So if you're not doing that, that means you're not giving your harvest rise. There's no rest. Okay? But the main thing again, as I was saying, I want to give you, Yahabashah is going to give you through me spiritual, spiritual eyesight. Okay, because men, they're in a, they're in a messed up spirit. Okay, they're more, they're more concerned with what's, what's about to happen, what Esau's going to do. But if you're in the spirit, if you're in the Holy Spirit, you're not going to be concerned about what Esau has to do. You're going to bring it out, but you're not going to be overtaken by that but if you're wicked if you're lukewarm if you sold out if you're an agent of course you're going to be pushing that spirit of fair because you know you're not right okay bear me just a minute and guess what the men of the lords they will not be um manipulated the scripture says the deceived and the deceiver are his okay the diversion tactics are not going to work if you don't have the spirit if you don't have the holy spirit you can't hide it dude you can't hide that dude okay it's going to be seen you don't have the holy spirit you're just a walking dead body okay let me just a minute let's go to john 6 and 64. John what you sadly to say you have many more men you have many more men in this truth that are carnal many more men see now the Lord didn't call you into this truth to be seen now <laughs> okay bear me just a minute get John 6 on, on, on deck and also, see what else we can find. Got that on deck. Try and get Ephesians as well. Ephesians. 
Legends. Okay, it's the Fusions. Four. And let's start at 14. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest. So again, before he came to the truth, you were in a sleeping state. You were in a slothful state. You never knew what was happening. Okay. So awake thou that sleepest, spiritually, because you've got people that are walking about, but they're asleep. So awake. And how are you made awake? By this word. Okay. That's how you're awake. And arise from the dead. So come out of that coffin. Okay. But you know the thing is, not all of our people, the Lord can, Lord Jehoshaphat can wake you up just to put you back to sleep. That's scary. Wake you up and just put you right back to sleep. You don't really know what's going on. Okay. So now we're awake. We have what? A foundation. We know what's happening. We can see. So if you're in the spirit, you're not going to need to watch a whole bunch of um, articles. Is it going to help? Yes, but if you're in the spirit, you can see what's happening. You're not, not going to need to go on BBC News, this and that. You're not going to need to go on these different newslets. And even when you're on these newslets, you're filtering it through the scriptures because you're spiritual. But if you're not spiritual, Guess what? You're going to be bringing out the news. And um, this happened yesterday. Okay. Um, there was a breaking yesterday at 4.40 p.m. And um, that happened and so and so. Um, and this sounding sea now. That's, you're not in the spirit. You're in the spirit of the world. You're bringing out information. That does not mean you're in the spirit. That doesn't mean you're in the spirit. Okay? To be in the spirit means to walk in the spirit. That's what it truly means to be in the spirit. Okay? And arise from the dead and Mashiach shall give thee the light. So, if Mashiach, Yahweh Shai gives you the light, that means you're going to have the sermon, you're going to have a spiritual mind to know what's going on. Because if you ain't been given a spiritual discernment of the scriptures, you could read these things, but you're still not going to know what's going on. That's why, guess what? You need the scriptures. Okay? That's why you need to filter things through the scriptures. Because if you don't, guess what? You're just blind. You don't know what's going on. Okay? You can't, you can't, what's it, what's it? You can't connect the dots. Okay? It's about connecting the dots. A lot of people, they read the scriptures, but they, they can't put the pieces together. That's why the scriptures say, line upon line, line upon line, have a little, there a little. Okay? That's how you get understanding. Okay? Foolish. You got, you got, you got, you got, you got Jake acting a fool out here, man. A complete fool. Verse 15, see then that she walks circumspectly, not as fools, that's the spirit. So if you're walking circumspectly, circum means full circle, spect, which means from your eyes, which you get spectacles. So if you're walking circumspectly, you're vigilant, you know what's going on. Okay? You know, the, the wool can't be pulled over your eyes. Because you're walking circumspectly. You're 
You're navigated by the scriptures. The scriptures are your navigation. So you don't know, you don't need a whole bunch of documents. Oh, look what we brought out. No, you don't need that. Because the Holy Spirit guides you. But if you're not guided by the Holy Spirit, you're going to be bringing out all these documents, all these newsletters. Oh, this is what Esau says. Okay. But what does Yahabashai say? That's why the scripture says, speak my words. Okay. Speak my words. Not your own words. Not, not Esau's words. These words. The words of the scriptures. Okay? And while a lot of men are going to get caught out there, because a lot of men think they have it, but they don't have it. A lot of men are wise in their own conceit. Okay? Okay? But as wise, and the scriptures talk about the wise virgins and the foolish virgins. And the foolish virgins, guess what? They never had the oil. Okay? And platter, okay, that platter is not going to save you in a day of destruction. And Jesus is negro, no blanco. Okay? Or diablo. Okay? The only thing that's going to save you is faith. Okay? That's the only thing that's going to save you. Not how smart you think you are. Redeem in the time because the days are evil. So how are we redeeming the time? Through this word. That's how we're redeeming the time. Through the word of the Lord. Verse 17. Wherefore, be not unwise. Because the most of the people here, they're unwise. They don't know what's going on. They ain't got a clue. Okay? Be not unwise. See how everyone's rushing for the pubs, for the bars. They don't know. They don't know what's about to happen. They're foolish. Mm. Be not unwise, but understanding what the will of the Lord is. So if you're wise, you're gonna understand what the uh, what the name of the Lord is. And that's spiritual because they've got an individual wearing a shirt saying the song remains the same. And yes, this song that we're singing, it remains the same. It doesn't change. Okay. Esau changes. Prophecy doesn't change. Okay. And what's the will of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai? To tread down our enemies. Okay. And to deliver the nation of Israel. That's his will. Okay? That is his will. So, if you know that, you know the will of your heart by Shemiah the Shai. Okay? If you don't know that, if you don't know the scriptures, then you don't know the will of your heart by Shai. You're just walking around clueless. Okay? Without a care in the world. Okay? Be not, drunk with, be not drunk with wine, these philosophies, okay? Wherein is excess, but be filled with the Spirit, okay? So again, this is talking about what? Philosophies, but if you're filled with the Spirit, guess what? You're going to be led by the Spirit. So you're not going to be fooled. So when men, so when men say, you know, uh, people, you know, People don't, don't watch, they don't watch the news and this and all that. They think it can't happen to them. Well, guess what? The man of the Lord, they have the eye self. 
they're walking in the spirit. So they're going to be able to see the pitfalls. What's happening? Why would not someone that's not walking in the spirit? Okay? It's not, it's not hard to understand if you're a spiritual man. But if you're, if you're carnal, you're not going to be able to understand. Okay? Bear me just a minute. The scriptures tell you how to walk. Matthew 25. Okay? This is Matthew 25. Some members say, Whoa, why are you going over that scripture? Ain't you been into that scripture already? Ain't that a bit ain't that a bit boring? No, it's boring to you. It's boring to you because you're not in the spirit. See the, the, the truth is only boring to someone that's not in the spirit, that's not in the right mind. Not once have I been in the truth and even not once have I thought that. And yet the the, the um the thought of being repetitive, sometimes things are repetitive, but the repetitiveness brings you what? More what? Understanding. That's why we do things in repetitiveness. Okay? That's why. Let's go to where we were. Let's go to um, Matthew 25. And let's go straight to verse 42. Watch therefore. So if you're watching, you're going to be watching for the signs. Yeah, you're going to be watching the news, but you're going to be watching for the prophecies. Okay? That's what you're going to be watching for. And you're going to be filtering that through the news. Okay? Things that are actually edifying. You're not going to be filtering news that is not edifying. Okay? Watch therefore for you know the what hour. You know, this is this, this what you got to understand. Our whole main thing is what? To preach the coming of Yahweh Shine. Okay? To preach his return. But this is how demonic and reprobate men are. They will come against you for teaching Yahweh Shine. Oh, why didn't you say that in a video? But you examine these same men, they're talking about nothing. They can barely do the work. Slumped up, all up on the couch, looking bugged out. Slumped up, eyes barely closed. You still got the sleep in your eye. That's not awake, you're still in a sleeping state. Okay? The Lord's looking for men that are serious about the truth. Serious. Okay? Not in that lackadaisical spirit. Okay? Let's go back to where we were. With Matthew 20, what, 25 and Salaka 24 and 42. Watch therefore. So yeah, we have to watch because that's what watchmen do. They're alert, they're looking out, they're being observant. Okay. For you don't know what hour your Lord have come. So it lets us know, because we know not what hour our Lord have come. We don't know when. What day? What hour? It could be any hour. Okay? But know this, if the good man of the house had known in what watch the thief would come, so if you actually knew when the thief would come, okay, <laughs> he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. So if you knew, guess what? You would have watched and not suffered your house to be broken up by a thief because you're alert. So again, that means you would not be asleep, but you've got men in the truth. They're supposed to be on watch, but they're asleep. So if you're asleep, that means you're putting the rest of the city, the town in jeopardy. So you're not a watchman. You're actually what? Treacherous. You're actually a danger to the rest of the body because you're not watching. You're not circumspect. 
Okay. Where was I? But no, this baby is for the baby. Let's go to verse. Okay, let's go to verse 45. Who that is a faithful and my servant in his Lord? Thou shalt have made a ruler of his household. Ruler. So the household is this body of work that we've been in charge that we're in charge of. Okay. To give them meat in due season. And that meat is the rewards. And it says in due season. So in due time, you're gonna receive that reward. Okay. If you endure. Okay. And that meat is that reward. That's what we're laboring for. A better reward. We're not laboring for the physical. The scripture says, labor not for the meat that perisheth, but the meat that needeth unto everlasting life, eternal life. Okay. Blessed is that servant whom his Lord. When he cometh, shall find so doing. Okay? So we want to be found what? Doing. When Yahusha comes up. But in other words, what does it mean? Believing. Okay? Believe in the scripture. Okay? Having faith. Okay? 